All right. This is uh, Olga 2016, and this is another tutorial of Olga. And uh, in this tutorial, I would like to speak a little bit about uh, the water hammer and uh, the way that you can simulate it inside Olga. Uh, for that reason, I have a very simple case. Uh, this is basically a horizontal pipeline of 5,000 meter uh, with the pressure inlet and pressure outlet. Pressure inlet is set, set to 60 bar and the pressure outlet is set at 30 bar and the temperature uh, at both nodes are 20 degrees of centigrade. And uh, as you can see, you have a valve here which is located uh, at the end of the pipeline. Uh, so in order to understand this uh, pressure phenomenon, this pr pressure propagation, and uh, which leads to this pressure hammer phenomenon in the pipeline, uh, we need to come back to this slide. Uh, so this is actually describing the problem a little bit better. A uh, pipeline of 5,000 meters, as I said, with pressure at 60 bar at the inlet and 30 bar at the outlet. So in order to initiate a water hammer in a real pipeline system, a closing time of the valve, which is located uh, right at the end of the pipeline, must be equal or less than 2L over C. And L is actually the length of the pipe, and C is the speed of the pressure propagation inside the, inside the pipeline. So imagine that you are closing a valve here at time equal, let's say, T0, and then the pressure starts to propagate, the pressure of uh, closing of this valve will start to propagate along the pipeline all the way back to this uh, uh, upstream location and then coming back all the way again to the valve position. Uh, the travel distance is 2L uh, with this, at the speed of C. So imagine that if the valve is not closed at the time that the pressure is reaching here, then the pressure can easily, the pressure wave can easily uh, go off the, uh, the outlet and you will not see the pressure hammer this pressure uh, water hammer phenomenon so in order to see this hammer phenomenon you need to have this valve uh, closed at the time that this pressure has been traveled all the way back and forth to this valve uh, so as I said the time should then the closing time should be equal or less than this and the C is actually the speed of sound in the liquid, uh, which is calculated according to the pressure derivative of density to the power half. Pressure dens uh, the pressure derivative of density can be found from Olga itself. You just need to go to Olga and this fluid properties tab and uh, look for your water tab. And then you have this partial derivative of water density with respect to pressure. You select it and you go for pressure 30 bar which is at the outlet and then at around 20 degrees of centigrade so if you look at this value it is something like 4.58 uh, uh, E minus 7. So if I take this number and bring it back here so if I put uh, that number here in this denominator and uh, have 2L on the top then the maximum clo closing time of the valve according to the C here would be something like 6.66 seconds so I need to close my valve in less than 6 seconds in order to see this pressure propagation and this uh, uh, water hammer phenomenon. So I'm coming back to my Olga case and I go to my uh, valve here and I put the timing of this valve uh, 0, 06 opening 1 and 0. So if you look at the opening of this valve it's fully open at time 0 and it's uh, finally closed at 6 seconds and this is kind of linear. So this one is set now. Then I need to uh, have uh, to calculate uh, actually the integration time and uh, the section length as well. So imagine that you don't want to have you, imagine that your maximum time step here given is 0 0.003 seconds. It means that uh, from one step to another time step 
you cannot uh, you cannot have delta t bigger than 0 0.003 seconds so if that is the case if that is the case and imagine that the the propagation of the wave inside uh, each section is at the speed of 1500 so if you have this 1500 multiplied by delta t then the delta x that it takes uh, for one pressure wave for, for one pressure wave to propagate is something like uh, 4. Uh, uh, 5 meter so the minimum section length uh, that you need to, to have in this simulation is 4.5 so if your if your section length is uh, smaller than this uh, with with this maximum time step given of 0 0.003 seconds then uh, then you may you you may not capture the the, the pressure wave in each and single uh, pipe sections so you need to have the minimum section length of 4.5 meter or bigger so what we have here now is like something like uh, 10 meter so I have like 500 sections with the length of a uh, total of 5000 meaning that each section is at least 10 meter so with that speed with that speed of sound with that speed of pressure va uh, wave propagation and with the delta t uh, assigned in this simulation uh, then we are we are sure that at each pipe section uh, we are capturing this pressure propagation uh, uh, at each single section so I'm coming back to my simulation and uh, what I want to do is uh, I go to my material which is a steel and I have the E module as well elasticity module uh, of 2.1 E positive 11 Pascal and if I go to if I go to like uh, options you see that the elastic wall here is set to on so the elasticity is actually working in this simulation uh, the integration times as I, as I said the maximum dt is not bigger than 0 0.003 seconds and uh, the end time the simulation time is something like 20 seconds uh, what is why it's not runnable I may find it out seems like uh, yeah I think I need to specify the location of my water tab as well so the water tab is not exactly located here so <coughs> so here is the water tab and then it should be fine now and this one as well all right this is now runnable so i press and run and run this simulation for 20 seconds uh, in the meanwhile I would like to run the same case with elasticity set to off as well so I have another case which is exactly the same as this one but the only difference is that I have set the elasticity to off so this is a rigid uh, rigid steel wall so if you look at the options here if you look at the options here the elasticity of wall is now set to off but the rest is exactly the same I am closing the valve at 6 seconds I would like to run this one as well but uh, but I need to put the water file at the correct location located here then it's runnable now is it like 20 seconds as well it is 20 seconds as well so I run this one as well and I 
will wait until both of them are finished so this one has run for 40 seconds now 16 seconds of the simulation with the elastic wall is finished <clears throat> so this one is the one that is finished so if I go to the profile plot now and uh, plot the PT which is the pressure in the whole pipeline so you see that the pressure in the inlet at time 0 is 60 and the pressure in the outlet is 30 uh, and you see the pipeline length here as well so by starting the simulation and starting to close the valve at time t6 you see that uh, the valve is already closed but uh, it is fully closed at time t equals 6 so you see you already can see that the pressure is start to build up here uh, but as the, the valve is closing more and more you see that the pressure peak is uh, quite obvious at time t equal to 6 and as the time approaches uh, further you see that the pressure is uh, the pressure wave is propagating in the pipe and the pressure is being built up in the pipe and uh, at t equal let's say 10 seconds then the pressure is the pressure wave is going back again and uh, You see that the pressure is actually getting uh, this pressure wave. This pressure wave is actually disappearing, and this is probably due to the elasticity of the wall, which is uh, dampening the pressure wave. So, if the other simulation is also finished, then I can uh, take a look at the pressure waves at the same location in the same plot. Uh, so, I will go. Water hammer solutions and the one which is rigid. And what I need to show is PT for both of them. So the one with elasticity on and the one with elasticity to off. And if I go to time zero, pressures are the same as the pressure starts to propagate. So now you see that the one which is red is the rigid one and the one with the black is uh, the elastic one so the pressure uh, the pressure peak in the one which is uh, more more rigid is much higher than the one with the elastic one and you see that the pressure is actually kind of uh, dampened and the one with the elasticity is set to on uh, the speed of propagation you see that there is a, a difference phase difference between the uh, these two uh, pressure waves as well so the one with uh, elasticity is a little bit off delay but the one with the rigidity it's actually going faster down uh, upstream you see exactly the same patterns all the way to the down uh, downstream of the pipe and then you can see again that this pressure wave is coming back faster than the other one with elasticity so you can see that in the simulation uh, all the way back and forth the pressure is dampened due to elasticity of the wall uh, the wall is giving some space to this uh, pressure uh, water hammer waves and uh, this pressure peak is much less uh, pronounced compared to the one uh, with the rigid uh, completely rigid bolts uh, so this was uh, the simulation for water hammer in Olga so you can do much more with the water hammer simulations and um, try different scenarios uh, but this was just the beginning uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video I'll come with more uh, Olga tutorials later thank you bye bye